one. Still, Lucy, go okay. for it. All right, so uh, I'm just making a quick video of how to take a patient's existing denture and make use it for a scan appliance. So um, this particular denture, this patient, Lucy, has allowed us to do this um, to, for a good education. Um, this denture already fits her great. Uh, we're going to be replacing it, but um, it, the actual fit on the tissue is great. So if it didn't, we would do a hard reline with the coat first to make sure that it fit, because if not, the scan, the um, the sort of guide and anything there from there is not going to fit well either. So since it already fits, we're great. We can just skip that step, but just know that that would be the first step if you didn't uh, have a, a well-fitting denture. There are some PVS materials you can use for that. I prefer just to do a hard reline with a uh, chair side reline material. So yeah, yeah, no, I will. We are going to take these stickers as you pull this out there's lots of them out there in the market but this one in particular as you pull it out one sticker pops off you pull it out and it pops off so hand me your denture hey Denise so I'm going to just rinse this off right quick Sorry. I feel like I'm moving from it. No, I'm just, um, no, I don't remember. Uh, oh yeah, I need you to hand me the stickers. I'm sorry? Um, the stickers, you don't have to love up for this. You can hand me, I mean, um, I am going to throw it on the up. So I like to put five stickers at least on the buckle and label. And you can already see one of them, there you go. Now, the reality is these stickers don't stick really well. They will fall off if you're not careful, so I make sure the denture is very dry. Um, they're just temporary. The patient's not going to leave with these adhered to them. So there's one. Probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to take some gauze with alcohol just to kind of really dry that off. but. I don't have too much problem with them coming off. I do know some people have. If you didn't need to keep this denture, it's quite literally just drill little holes in it and uh, put composite in there. And in fact, it wouldn't you know, be, it'd probably be okay with this one because we only need it for a little while and she wouldn't notice those. But to me, that's just more work, and I prefer just to use these stickers. You don't have to zoom in physically, but so we got a sticker here with a bead, 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 bead. So actually, we've got three on the inside, four, four on the outside. That should be more than enough. As you notice, a couple of these, the beads popped off, and I, I've not actually had the, a big problem with that. But be aware of that. You don't want to assume that they are have beads on if they don't. Um, so actually three of them that came out that way. So anyway, we'll take those off at the end for now We're going to uh, insert this in her mouth And we're going to ask her to be so kind as to not play with it With the little bumps Denise is going to go ahead and take the comb beam of that um, of, the, of, the, of, the, of uh, Lucy with the denture in her mouth and then she will take the denture out carefully trying not to pop those beads off and scan the denture by itself and then we will have both a scan a scan appliance uh, scan and the actual denture in her mouth that's it okay so for this scan we have Lucy biting on two cotton rolls to make sure the denture stays seated and so that it doesn't accidentally pop out in the back which is really easy she bites on the bite stick and the whole thing will pop out just like she's biting into a carrot so she's biting on those and she just has her front teeth hooked on Another thing that's important, she has her arms crossed, so bring her shoulders together instead of out back, less likely to be a machine. And she's even got her feet slightly forward of comfort natural. Again, bringing everything forward, less likely to be a machine bending her shoulders. So with that scan, and that's it. Okay, so we have now taken the denture out of Lucy's mouth. I just put it in a bag baggie, simple enough. I put it in this um, can that comes with the Serona machine, or it doesn't come with, you have to order for the Serona machines. There's different machines have it. Basically the idea is the denture is now on a sponge. Put it at about the right height position for the scan. Take out the bite stick. Insert this. 
And now we usually just use uh, regular adult size. You can go down the size if you want, depending on your settings, but we have good luck with that. And that's it. We take this scan, and now we'll have the two scans we need for a scan appliance guide. All right.